Oof! Cactus Jack sent me! Yeah, this does smell like charity shop. Slime mutations, sick fist enthusiasts. Today, I am rating subscribers outfits. So you can stop commenting when's the next sick fits. Just chill out my slime. The last sick fits was only Two months ago, I threw out a little announcement last video about today's sick fits, and wow, did I miss saying You're breathtaking. to every sick fit submission in my inbox. And if you want to send an outfit for me to rate in the next sick fits in like another two months from now, then email me at sickfits at outlook.com. Make sure you attach a photo in your email because I actually get people send me submissions with nothing to look at. Give me some details of your outfit so I know what I'm looking at, like I'm not the mega mind of fashion. And your Instagram handle so I can give you free real estate on a video. So if you're ready for the sickness, then check this out. <laughs> Carling's beanie, Ray-Ban sunglasses, nothing NYC turtleneck, Adidas fanny pack, vintage suit, rain shorts, and the Converse One Star shoes. Is there a glitch in the matrix, my slime? The top end has given me Agent Smith at Fashion Week vibrations, but the bottom half is throwing me off a little bit. I can't tell if I love it or hate it. I don't know, it kind of looks like two completely different outfits, but I think that's just because of the suit jacket. If you took that off, then maybe, but it just looks like it's gonna be two different outfits. But then why did it make it onto sick fits? I don't know. It's just something about the top half of the outfit that just really bangs. Suit, turtleneck, beanie, it does the most. Like in the classroom as well, it sets a mood, but then you're wearing shorts. 90s flannel shirt, single stitch vintage t-shirt, stonewashed dockers and the Birkenstock Bostons. I don't want to submit to sick fits mum. Outfit is on point, T and t-shirt combo drip facts. Colours complement each other, some healthy looking trousers, very nice girth on them. The Birkenstocks kind of remind me of the world's oldest shoe. If you switch these out with the flame crocs then this gets maximum vibrations. Uniqlo hoodie, thrifted outer jacket, vintage Levi 501s and the Rick Owens Dark Shadow Ramones. Can we get a face reveal at a thousand likes? Monochrome fit fits right into any 1940s movie. The 501s are a nice width. Sorry, I'm just obsessed with trouser girth today. Love the converse. Let me just add a little something. Oh, they're Ramones. Visor, Barong Tagalog shirt. Uniqlo wide fit jeans and black converse chuck 70s. End tight on my slime. The Filipino Jordi LaForge in the flesh. Set a course for drip sector five. A traditional Filipino outfit, basic, clean. Here's a heart for those converse. My slime looking like he's in charge of the barbecue. And we've got the visor transcending tech wear into cyberware. It's over for them, Mapana Con. Obey cap, ASOS chunky chain, minimal beige crew neck, Giordano straight cut pants, and the Balenciaga tracks in a triple white. So we got the full Yeezy season one type beat, breaking it up with some accessories, very techy, and we've got some subtle flexing with the Balenciagas. Say no more, I like this fit. Supreme independent crew neck, Dickies pants, and the Jordan 1 Pine Greens. You know I had to do it on them. Nice respectable pose, that's a LinkedIn pose if I've ever seen one. Supreme independent crew neck Dickies trousers, possible skater? Send me a video of you doing a pop shove it or I'm reporting you big man. Cool skater fit, it's fun, it's free. Lots of room to do those technical maneuvers. Next outfit, thrifted utility vest, vented London hoodie, forever 21 trousers and the black Air Force Ones. So we've got that traditional hype beast hand to face maneuver, the universal hand symbol to let people know that you're a part of the R Streetwear subreddit. So many pockets on the vest, techwear Donnie are jealous. Trousers had an argument with the shoe so they're taking some time apart. I like this one. Black Air Force Ones are so sus that my man would get voted out in the first round of Among Us. Black Air Force Ones, you're wild man. Thank you for sending in your outfit. He said it, he said the thing. Spider-Man 2 shirt, collusion white top, urban outfit is called trousers. The ASAP Nast cross converse that, you know, I can't really see. I can see like a fifth of it maybe. The candid corner shop photo shoot. So I'm seeing the classic 
Uh, do I know you face? Spider-Man shirt goes hard. Zoom and enhance, that is a tactical shirt. Tobey Maguire is best Spider-Man. I don't care what anyone says. And going for the Red Bull light. Stay safe, fam. No details were left on this outfit, but from what I can see, we have a needles-inspired split shirt, a white crop top, blue trousers, and those Adidas Rafsamin Osbigos that are still low-key underrated, by the way. Air conditioner salesperson of the year. It's business casual chic, honey. Couldn't decide what shirt to wear today, so combine the free with fusion. A unique take on the whole smart casual look, and I like the fact that it's got some color, mainly blue. Blue is color though not bad i like this one dark denim jacket uniqlo jeans plain white t-shirt brown bandana and the low-key converse one star ox brown okay so the fit is cool respectable meet the parents attire not trying too hard, you know, clean and subtle. The brown bandana, I am not familiar with that gang affiliation. Extra credit, because I like the way my man's laced his Converse One Stars. The pose is very Day of the Dead, zombie-like even. I don't know, I kind of vibe with it. Sunny Studio sunglasses, Uniqlo red turtleneck, Stoozy printed button-down shirt, some rando black belt, the Louis Vuitton chalk nano bag, thrifted beige tapered trousers, and the Yeezy 700 V2 Vanters. I like how everyone in the background is literally dressed in three shades of black, gray, and green. And my man is in the middle looking like 90s crazy rich Asians. I'm not normally a massive fan of long sleeve t-shirt to button up shirt layering, but this has earned its place in the outfit so I don't hate it. I think my man has looked at each piece here and played to each of its strengths. Only a shirt as loud as this can possibly be complemented with a block color red turtleneck, the tapered down trousers going to the Vanters, almost like they're pointing down towards them like, yo, look at these Yeezys, my slime. Glasses, bag, tucked in look. I am sophisticated and stylish, while everyone in the background are just NPCs. D squared bowling shirt, thrifted wool slacks, Bottega lug boots, all black Can Can laptop backpack, and white gold tennis chain. I thought D squared only did icon hats, but this is a trippy shirt. Undo the top few buttons and add accessories. Trousers tucked into these obelisk length boots. I swear down, these are gonna be the boots that will kick off the post sneaker world. Is this the one? This might be the one. This is my favorite outfit in today's video. It's just the boots, man. Asserting their dominance in the outfit, just eating up these trousers and becoming the main focal point of that outfit. Well, that and the shirt. But my man has somehow tamed these absolute stompers. You man are wild, say no more. Oh, uh, that was sick fit. A lot of interesting styles in today's video, if I do say so myself. And that's what I like about Sick Fits, just people have their own individual style. I'm not gonna beg it too much. Today's Sick Fits was pretty cool. Don't take my low-key roasting too seriously. Like, it's, you know, I'm just a guy on the internet. Like, chill out, bro. If you don't wanna wait another two months for Sick Fits, there is an Instagram page where I sometimes upload. So check that out for sometimes daily fix. Sick Fits at Outlook. Com. That inbox is pretty much always open. So if you've got a fit that you like and you want to show it to the world, then just jump in the inbox, not in the DMs because I never check DMs. Share this video with your friends for some of that fit inspiration. Like this video or I will downvote your outfit on our streetwear. Subscribe to the channel, it helps out a lot. There's a little animation that tells you how to do it. Wow, it was that easy. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next next one yeah